Now we're going to talk about the contact point on a kickoff. Okay? When our kicker's getting his speed, like we just talked about on the approach, and he's coming, 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 coming into the ball, he's going to plant, he's going to have his hips completely wide open, his chest is going to be facing this way, okay? and then he's going to slam the doors closed. Okay? We're going to have the foot completely locked out. Kelly, come in here real quick for me. With our kicker's foot, lock your foot out. His foot has to be completely locked out here. If his toe comes up at all, okay, his, the ball is going to be contacting his foot rather than his foot contacting the ball. So we get the foot completely locked out, we get the hips turned over, okay, and then we're flying into the ball. And that's how he should be kicking off. If he gets his toe up at all, you're going to have balls wobbling all over the place. He won't be able to control it. Okay, so that's our contact. We're planted in, our hips are open, our foot's locked, and we're going to hit the ball. Okay, when we kick this ball, unlike on any field goals, you're going to land on your kicking foot. Okay, we want our kickers to hit, have so much momentum, this right foot's going to bring them up and through. Okay, so I'm going to do kind of a dry run here and show you what it should look like. So we're going to hit the ball, come up and through. That brings our momentum through the ball. So we contact, we get up and through, and we land on our kicking leg here. Okay, so I'm going to have Kelly take his steps. He's going to approach the ball nicely. He's going to hit it. Great contact and land on his kicking foot. Open the gorge, close him. Good. Okay, nice job. Solid hit on the ball. Getting up through it. Okay. For our kicking on the ball contact, I got you in the back here so you can see exactly where we want to hit it. We want to be hitting this ball about a quarter way up where that white stripe is. That way the ball can shoot up out of here. A coaching point. If your kicker hits the ball up here in the middle, you're going to get a line drive. If he kicks down a real low, he's going to have a high ball that flutters around really, really fast. Okay, so I'm going to put this ball teed up. We want to hit about a quarter way up the ball and get it. I'm going to show you my full steps here. Okay, so I'm going to take 10 yards back. I'm going to line up directly with the ball. I'm gonna take, for me, I'm taking five steps over. I turn. I have a little comfort step where I bring this foot under me. I've got my weight lean, I'm ready to go. I'm going to stay on the approach of my plant foot. I'm going to hit the ball, land on my kicking foot. Okay, really, really nice approach. Nice and smooth, I don't take a lot of effort. Just move nice and slow into it, and then you hit the ball in that sweet spot. Foot locked, the ball will fly out of there. Nice, slow spin to the return. part of maximizing your hang time and your distance on your kickoffs. You watch any NFL kicker or any top college kicker, they all do one thing in common. They hurdle. And what the hurdle is, is just like a hurdle and sprint jumping over a hurdle, you want to generate so much power from your hips and your leg swing that you swing up and through and land on the same foot you kick with. So once I've made contact, I'm going to keep my chest up, flex my core, want to stay locked out, up and through as high as possible, then landing on the same foot we kick with and coming down the field. Sometimes when people make mistakes, they swing up and through and pull off left. They lose power that way. Or they swing so hard that their knee bends. You want to stay locked in your ankle and your leg, up and through the ball, up off the ground, landing on the same foot you kicked with. So for Sam, we're going to now look at his follow through, which we call the hurdle. Um, any NFL kicker, any top college kicker is going to do a hurdle on their kickoff, which simply means you land on the same foot you kick with. But there's a few coaching points we want to talk about. Notice how from contact, his toe stays pointed, his kicking leg stays locked. Look how stiff his plant leg is to stay as long as possible. And that extension comes up and through, almost making a 90 degree angle with his legs, ripping up and through, land on the same foot he kicks with. It's normal for you to come up off the ground. The more explosive kicker, any top college kicker is gonna do a hurdle on their kickoff, which simply means you land on the same foot you kick with. But there's a few coaching points we wanna talk about. Notice how from contact, his toe stays pointed, his kicking leg stays locked. Look how stiff his plant leg is to stay as long as possible. And that extension comes up and through, almost making a 90 degree angle with his legs, ripping up and through, land on the same foot he kicks with. It's normal for you to come up off the ground. The more explosive you, you are, the more results you're gonna have. So Shane is currently a freshman in high school, has been kicking for two years, but one of the things he does really well is uses his long legs as a lever. Notice from contact, he drops up and through, keeping that leg straight and through the ball. Notice the straight leg, the pointed toe, the finish. I would actually like him to land right there at that yellow line because you want your follow through to go straight downfield. And if you're right footed, you should roll to your right a little bit. If you're left footed, obviously roll to your left. Anytime you swing up and through and land off to the side, you're actually losing a little bit of power. You want to carry that momentum downfield. That's actually a drill we'll use um, is kicking to a cone to help us transition our weight and power and momentum from our steps to the ball.
right here, Ryan is only in eighth grade. So he does a decent job of keeping his legs straight, but you can see he falls off and loses balance and drifts off to his left or right. The key for any developing kicker is to have enough body control that even when they're explosive, they hold the proper position through the swing. Notice how he extends up and through and his kicking leg comes down and off to the left or to the right as we look at it of the tee. You actually wanna carry momentum downfield. So him having his hips slide out to his left or right is losing a little bit of power. Just envision one of my critiques if I was doing film analysis for him would be to draw a line from the ball to that yellow dash on the field and tell him that he, we want him to mirror his kicking foot with that line to keep his follow through straighter longer, which will add power. Also notice how flat his follow through stays, kind of swinging around instead of up and through. We want to take all of our explosiveness and from our momentum of our steps and the lock out of our leg. This is a demonstration of proper kickoff technique. Begin your kickoff technique progression by taking normal walking steps back. The most natural and consistent thing a human being does is walks. This will build consistency on game day when your nerves are high and anxiety is rolling. When pacing your steps backwards, make sure you're facing the direction in which you're going to kick off. This will help build mental imagery on where you're trying to kick the football. Once you've taken your steps back, make sure you check your target line. Again, your target line consists of your kicking foot toe, the ball, and where you're trying to kick. Once you come to balance, turn your plant foot out at 90 degrees based off your target line, and then begin walking forward, taking your steps over. Avoid taking your steps over by taking them over going sideways. Kickoffs, you have a much greater distance to go to get over to your point. This is a much more efficient way of getting there when walking forward. Once you do get there, make sure you check your plant foot toe. Make sure it's aiming where your plant foot will hit. This ensures that your approach to the football is on or outside your approach line. Again, you want to avoid bananaing or mooning into the football on your approach. Your stance on your kickoffs can be upright, relaxed, and comfortable. The reason being, when you move and start into your kick, it's on your own watch. When you're kicking a field goal, your stance has to be weight distributed forward, shoulders over the top, and slight knee bend to make sure your body momentum all goes forward on the snap of the football. You start when somebody else makes you start. Again, your approach to the football should be from about 0 to 75%. If you're going 0 to 100, you're coming into the football way too hard. Body lean away from the ball, creating a good surface for liftoff and clean ball foot contact. Leg up and through the football. Avoid crunching. Landing on that kicking leg and transferring that momentum through the kick downfield. This is a demonstration of the half approach kickoff drill. This is a great drill for warming up prior to a practice or game because it consolidates your approach and doesn't wear your leg out. Your technique progression with this drill is exactly the same as your full approach kickoff. Your steps back should be paced off at a normal walking pace. Check your target line. You should come to balance and turn that plant foot out at 90 degrees, making sure you're coming off of your target line correctly. Once you get over to your point, make sure you get in a relaxed, upright, comfortable stance. And check your plant foot to make sure it's aiming where your plant foot will hit when contacting the football. Again, your approach to the football should be on or outside your approach line, zero to about 60%. Body lean away from the football, creating a good surface to contact the ball. Leg rides up. Again, avoid crunching. Leg follow through downfield, transferring that momentum downfield and through the ball and coming back to balance. Today. Kickoffs are really the same. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the long overdue kickoff video that I've been promising for over a year now, I guess, and I'm sorry it took so long, but I'm getting to it now. So, we'll talk about kickoffs today. Kickoffs are really the same as field goals. Don't try to complicate it too much. It's basically the same thing. The only thing that's different is the amount of steps that you take to the ball, and for some of you, it'll be the same. You may take three steps and two over for kickoffs. It doesn't matter. Everyone's different. We'll get to that in a second. First of all, I'm going to talk about the tee a little bit. This tee that I'm using is a one inch tee. It's a one inch kickoff tee, and you have to use these in the NFL. You cannot use a two inch kickoff tee. The one inch tees are something that I started using in college. I used the red tees and some three inch tees in high school. I got to college and I found out that I could get a little more distance out of these, but I would sacrifice some height. That's okay. It's, it served the purposes that I did better. In college now, of course, you kick off from the 30-yard line as they do in the NFL. When I played, it was the 35, so things have changed a little bit. Just experiment, see what teach you like. But I'll show you a little bit about this team. First of all, it can pop out of the, this part itself, and this part can serve for NFL kickers and college kickers as a tee as a kicking off the ground without one of the white arm holders or whatever holder you use for field goals. You can just set this down on the ground, set the ball inside here, and it's basically the same as kicking off the ground. What else you can do with this if you're in high school and you still kick off the block for field goals? You can turn this upside down, and this becomes a one-inch tee, or you set it in here, and it's pretty much a two-inch tee. It's one and three quarters, I think, but still it's pretty close to a two-inch tee. Just whatever you feel comfortable with. That's a little bit about the tee. Just experiments with tees and just find out which one that you like. All right, we're going to start off with steps. Talking about steps for field goals. I don't even need the ball for this. Some people say, how many steps do I take back and how many over? It doesn't matter. It's, it's your preference, and I'll show you an easy way to find out how far you should be going back. I want to talk about the run to the ball. It should be a controlled run. It doesn't matter how fast you run the ball. Everyone has this misconception that if you run fast with the ball, it will go farther. That's not the case. It's how well you're controlled throughout your run. And I'll show you an easy way to do this. If you're kicking this way, you're on the right side of the tee. I want you to turn around, step over to the left side of the tee, and run at this angle, at a 45 degree angle to where you would be set up to kick off. Run at a controlled rate, and wherever you feel like you should kick the ball, stop. So I'll show you what I mean. The camera will follow me as I'm running, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So I start here like I'm getting ready to kick off. Right here is where I need to be. So from here, I can do this. I can go one, two, three, and a half, about a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So I need to go seven back and three and a half steps over. And this is exactly where I was. So if I run the ball now, hopefully that I did this right, should be exactly where the tee is. And it is. So that's how you can find out your steps. It may, be not, it may not be right the first time, but keep trying with it. Now we're going to show you how to directional kick. In high school, it's more about kicking the ball as far as you can. Once it enters the goal line, it's a touchback. Not the case in college. College, you can return it, and you're, you're scooted back 10 yards. So you'll have to directional kick a lot if you are making that transition from high school to college. The only thing that's different is just your angle. And I'll show you what I mean. If we are kicking, we're kicking straight down the field. The plant foot is straight in line with where we're kicking. The ball is hit right there on the laces, and your shoulders and hips are square at impact to where you're kicking. If I'm kicking to the right, I just align my tee on the kickoff. I want it. I put it here. I do this. Still going this way. So vice versa to the left. That's the only thing that it is about the kickoff. There's nothing different about it. Same way as kicking field goals, you have to align your body to the position that you're going to. Now we'll take a couple of kickoffs, see what I can do with it. These balls are fully inflated. I can't seem to find my pump. But another thing about the steps. When I go back, it's just a feel. It's a 45 degree angle straight back. I don't go straight back into the side. I go straight back at an angle. That's a feel kicker is what you call it. Just feel it how it goes. That's what I feel more comfortable with doing. The way I'm doing it is not the way you have to do it. Find your own way how to do it. I'm just showing you some ways to do it and kind of giving you some advice on what may work for you. So I'll kick some now. You want to explode through the ball. Momentum going forward after the kick. Try to kick the back of the ball through the front of the ball and about a third of the way up. The same for field goals. So we'll try. There's one. We'll do one more. See how it goes. So you can see, I'm not really kicking them hard. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what the kickoff should be about. It should be a controlled run. Explode through the ball. Give it a field goal. Position your body in the way you would a field goal the same way. Hope you enjoyed the kickoff video. Punting video will be coming up the same day as this one will. Hope you enjoyed it. Any comments or questions that you have, just send them to me on YouTube. And thanks for watching the videos and keep watching. Parents about, all right? And probably the biggest mistake I see from young kickers. Okay, what young kickers are seeing are they're seeing the best kickers in the world. They're seeing NFL kickers and they're seeing Division One kickers on TV, and they see these big long approaches. Okay, you have to remember the longer the approach, the more room for error. The faster the approach, the more room for error. I would really recommend, especially high school guys, to begin their approaches a lot closer, okay, because it all comes down to contact. So many questions I get from parents about, all right, and probably the biggest mistake I see from young kickers, okay, what young kickers are seeing are they're seeing the best kickers in the world. They're seeing NFL kickers, and they're seeing Division One kickers on TV, and they see these big, long approaches. Okay, you have to remember, the longer the approach, the more room for error. The faster the approach, the more room for error. I would really recommend, especially high school guys, to begin their approaches a lot closer, okay, because it all comes down to contact. So many parents will ask me, how come their son's kickoff, three-step kickoff, or their field goals go just as far as their, as their full kickoffs. Okay, the reason for that is we're not making good contact. In the end, good contact is what makes this ball essentially go far. So remember, with your kickoff steps, we want to be consistent. Practice them over and over and over again, all right? Your kickoff steps should be, for high school, no more than 10 yards. Ideally, I like to see guys about seven yards away. Once you feel like you've conquered that spot, you feel like you've consistently hit a good ball every single time, then slowly move back. Challenge yourself. Maybe, you know, maybe junior year you back up a yard, senior year you back up another yard. You know, keep challenging yourself once you consistently make that good contact every single time. That's it for kickoff approach. Tune in next week, and we'll see what we have coming up. Thanks.